Yeah, we really out here stranded. We found somebody random though. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Stacks. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video, and let's just get started. Hello, people. Hello, party people. <laughs> All right, y'all. So today is Tuesday afternoon. Um, right now, I'm just cooking um, some dinner. For dinner, I'm having spaghetti. So real simple. Now, one thing about me, I do not like cooking, and it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like different strokes for different folks. I do not like cooking. That's just not my thing. It is what it is. So when I cook, I like to make a lot of stuff so I don't have to cook again. I'm trying this thing, which I've done it before, uh, where I just cook big bunches of meals and just eat it for like the week or whatever. And I'm not really the type of person that's like, well, I don't want to eat that. I ate it all week. Like, honestly, I don't even really care. Like, it's food. <laughs> okay? And it's my food. It's not like I'm eating somebody else's leftovers. It's my food. I prepared it, so I know what it's hitting for. Period. So, yeah. Um, right now, I'm just cooking spaghetti. And um, don't mind my lace, y'all. It it was definitely hot today. So, my lace is kind of... Y'all know what happens when it get hot. So, don't play with me. Um, yeah, so I'm just cooking some spaghetti right now. Cleaning my house, washing laundry, washing clothes and stuff like that. My house looked a freaking mess. Like, it still do, but it's not as bad. Um, I got clothes in the laundry. I mean, I got clothes in the wash and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get this house together. Because ever since I left for New York and I came back, my house looked worse than it did before I left. I was like, look, <laughs> something got to shake. So, so, I'll see you guys later. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday. Um, yesterday I was really, really tired. I didn't really do much. I just laid down and for the fucking night, like took my shower and all that, and laid down and called it a night. But I'm up bright early in the morning. I had to wake up and go to my doctor's appointment and get some lab work done. Ugh, I hate needles, y'all. When she did it, I was just like real tense and tensed up because I just hate freaking needles. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Like, I just don't want anything sharp going in me. Like, nothing sits right with me with that. Like, absolutely nothing. If you like needles, you're weird. Like, no lie, because nothing about that sits right with me. It's not comfortable at all, and it makes my nerves really, really bad. I have anxiety real, real bad, and that just sends me over the top. Like, I hate when I got to go get stuck to do lab work on something for something or whatever. And they like, yeah, you got to get you gotta get lab work done. I'm like, ugh. Then I go get the lab work done. They're like, why are you scared? It don't hurt. I'm like, you act like this is, this is not something that you can get used to. Like, literally not something you can ever get used to. Like, ever. Yeah, if my lips is ashy in any of these freaking clips, man, look, disregard because that's ghetto. But anyways, yeah, that's something I could just never get used to. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all wanna know what's so crazy to me? It's like, okay, I'm getting older, right? Obviously. Um, I'm getting older, and it's like, Things are starting to turn me off about people that I really, really used to fuck with. Like, for an example, I just feel like some of my friends are in, are in different levels in their life right now. And I am too as well. Like, I'm in a, at a level right now where I'm trying to elevate. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build an empire. I'm trying to build, like, an empire. I'm trying to be just basically great. Like, and I just feel like not all of my friends are there yet. Anyways, like I was trying to say, before I was really interrupted, I got a five page for me. Mm. Mm. Anyways, like I was saying, um, like I'm trying to build an empire. Like I'm trying to be great. Like I want the best for my life. Like everything that I can get out of this lifetime, I want. Like nothing less. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not settling for nothing or nobody. Like. 
the standards is a high as fuck and if you cannot reach them then you cannot be with me or you cannot fuck with me period like that's just where i'm at in life right now and things are important to me right now like as far as like what i want and what i need and like just me you feel what i'm saying and obviously goals that i'm trying to reach and stuff like that and i just feel like i'm outgrowing people and originally i kind of felt bad about it because i'm like like i've been knowing these people for like mad long you know what i'm saying and like all of a sudden it's like uh bye you feel me and it's kind of like damn mm, is, is that really is that really you know what i'm saying what i should be doing like but at the end of the day i came to the conclusion to where it damn they got 429 they wilding nobody about to pay that um then originally i came to the conclusion i'm like no absolutely not it's okay to outgrow people it's okay and another thing I'm trying to learn is that it's okay to just let people go. Like, I try to, like, you know, keep everything, you know what I'm saying? If I fuck with you, I try to keep up with you, you know what I'm saying? Talk to you, make sure you're good, which is cool. And I try to, like, keep that bond. Like, I try to keep the bond. But now it's like I don't have time for that. Like, all that time that I'm putting into trying to keep bonds with you, I could be putting that energy into something else. I just don't have time for certain things. And, like, as, a, as adults, that's what we need to realize and we need to come to the come to the fact that it's okay because shit i thought you know what i'm saying like damn that's kind of fucked up don't do that to that girl that girl ain't doing nothing to you but that whole time you ain't doing nothing but dragging me down like you you're not doing you really not benefit me in any type of way so it's kind of like why do i care and that sounds selfish yeah but i'm getting older y'all i'm not getting younger i don't have time for bullshit i don't have time for shit that's not gonna benefit me i don't have time for anything that's not gonna put money in my pocket and that's real and that's so so real like now i'm more selfish when it comes to me now i'm more selfish when it comes to my time you want you want my time then prove you want my time like you know what i'm saying like show me you want you want my time don't just call me or be like yeah let's link let's link like we not linking and doing nothing we ain't doing we ain't doing none of that no absolutely not no if you're not benefiting me like i said putting money in my pocket then i'm not fucking with you like and that's friends included i don't care it's all it's okay to 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 outgrow people and it's okay to let people go it's okay and i need to start telling myself that like in a comforting way because like i be low-key not stressing out about it but it be on my mind sometimes when it comes to people like friends that i really care about but it's like you know it's okay to let them go it's okay barbie it's all right you can let them go gas is really getting higher and higher and higher like gas was just four dollars why is it four dollars and 19 cents and then it was just going down like come on like who do we talk to about this at this point this is getting ridiculous tomorrow's friday so it's the last day of the week you feel what i'm saying then it's the weekend and you already know we about to chase that bag something serious this weekend because i didn't go to work last weekend because i was in new york yeah i'm well rested or whatever and i'm ready to get to that bag hey guys so today is friday i'm so tired it's only like 12 o'clock in the evening about to be one i'm freaking tired y'all but honestly it's the sun the sun be whooping my head it be sending me to fuck it up but i wanted to come out here and show y'all what i got from the beauty spot store or whatever um yeah so let's get into it so i went and bought some things from the beauty spot store so for starters i had got this um kabuku brush or whatever because i told you i want to start getting back into makeup real cute it's for my foundation um usually i use like my sponge or whatever but i don't i don't know I, i've been using my sponge for so many years i kind of want to switch it up i kind of want to do a brush so i got this kabuku brush how freaking cute how freaking cute and i just love how the bristles are so tight you know what i'm saying this is gonna give me like a flawless flawless makeup application um the second thing that i got was this pressed powder and i know it looks really really dark but honestly it's really not that dark like it looks I needed another pressed powder for my lace when I put my wigs on. And the one I bought was too light. Like, it looked like my skin complexion. It it was close to my skin complexion. But when I put it on my lace, it was too light. I don't know, but she's going to lay our lace down. Period. I had got this for my lace, though. 
for my um you know when you you know you know when you blend in the lace or whatever you know when you blend in the lace or whatever uh the second thing i got was this um what is this called it's not a straight razor jagged razor something i bought this to you know cut my lace off with or whatever because i usually use scissors but i don't like that straight line so i had bought this okay um the second thing i had bought was this olive oil max moisture super silkening leave-in conditioner it's infused with rice water and electrolytes for supercharged hydration and growth. I got this. It's a leave-in conditioner, y'all. Um, at the end of the day, you still got to take care of your real hair underneath these wigs and stuff like that. And I think people be not forgetting it, but I think they don't care. But not me, baby. I, I like y'all, I'm going to turn up. Nah, <laughs> how did TikTok go? Um, that's y'all. But on the other hand, me, oh, I'm going to turn up. <laughs> Yeah, I had bought this deep conditioner. It's the um, matching line. I had bought the deep conditioner because we're going to deep condition our hair or whatever. And y'all, this stuff smells so clean. So, so clean. Oh, and by the way, if y'all didn't know what rice water was, rice water is what I think Indians, I think they're Indians. Rice water is what Indians use to grow their hair. I think it's Indians. Don't quote me. But rice water is um, what people used to like, kind of like back in the days or whatever. I don't know if they still do it, but I know that they used to do it. Um, they used to dip their hair in um, rice water and whatever, and it would make their hair grow like really, really long and strong. So that's a, the uh, benefits of rice water. And it has electrolytes in it, and y'all know what electrolytes is. So yeah, this is the deep conditioning. Right here, what I'm about to show y'all is something I'm so excited about trying, okay? This is the reason why I went to the store, to be the spot store, period. This is um, olive oil, super whole wig grape gel. Y'all, look at it. I seen Eric and Tay use this, okay? I seen him use this on Jada Wada, and bitch, we wanna be like Jada Wada. I wanna be Jada Wada. So we're gonna try this. I'm super excited about trying this because I heard it's really, really good too. And I also bought the matching um, super hole spray fix it to go with it. You know what I'm saying? When you laying down that, that lace, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So yeah, that's all I got from the Beauty Supply Store, y'all. I just wanna come ahead and show y'all what I got because I was excited about it. And yeah, so next time I see y'all, nine times out of 10, I'll either be on my way to work or i will be at work today is friday i just got done getting ready for the club if y'all can see my hair's laid makeup slay you know what i'm saying your girls look good smelling good feeling better we gonna make some money this weekend like we gonna run it up because your girl got three things to pay for your girl gotta get it you feel what i'm saying i have goals i need to reach before the end of june and that's just that on that so <laughs> We outside, period. We only we only get the spots that we can pay for. Don't forget that, sweetie. Don't forget that. <laughs> y'all, make sure I can't stress this enough. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel, y'all. Like, subscribe and like on this video. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, my next video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all the instructions or whatever on, on the giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, I came to the conclusion, and I'm gonna give away a closure wig. So y'all got a chance to win a wig. But the instructions are you have to subscribe to my channel, repost my channel on your Instagram page and follow me on Instagram. And my Instagram name is Barbie underscore stacks. Yeah, y'all got a chance to run a free wig, but y'all better hop on that because that's crazy to not hop on that. Like what? I need to hurry up and get dressed. Honestly, I'm just about to throw something on right fast and head out to the club. My home girl driving, thank goodness, because I was so tired. I wasn't even going to go to work tonight. But as soon as she was like, yeah, girl, I'll drive. I was like, shit, okay, say less. Hop in that shot real quick, okay? Like, uh, y'all, driving sometimes be real stressful, especially when you do it every weekend. Back and forth, hour, 30 minutes there, hour, 30 minutes back. It really be stressing me out. Y'all, I cannot wait till I finish school, though. Because when I, when I finish school, I think I'm going to be a full-time dancer, y'all. So, y'all going to have, like, even more videos and stuff like that. Like, I'm excited for it. Um, I want to travel. I want to travel. Um, I want to go, like, to Miami, Dallas, Houston, you know what I'm saying, Vegas, even Cali. Like, it's up, y'all. It's up. It's up. So, basically, sum that all up. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel so y'all can see everything and y'all can come with me. You know what I'm saying? And it's lit. Like, I got y'all. I got y'all. If y'all want to be dancers or y'all already dancers and just want the inside scoop, subscribe to this channel, boo, because I got you. <laughs>
All right, y'all, I'm gonna see y'all at the club. <laughs> Club. I'm so hot. I'm ready to get home, get in the bed, and lay down. Okay, it is definitely tired. My freaking wig is sliding back. It was so hot in there, y'all. Oh my god, it's really sliding. Uh, this is embarrassing. Oh my god, y'all. This shit get up. <sighs> Not the motherfucking time flat. Oh my god. They gonna come bring you a tire? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm serious. Cause hell, no. Bitch, no. your tire got flat. <laughs> Who are you on the phone with? Nobody. Let's go get it, y'all. This do not put me on your fucking vlog, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Cause a bitch that would be out here all motherfucking hot <laughs> ass day. Yes, he about to pull up. Oh God, I was like, I knew I got all that shit there. Okay. You smart though. She's smart because she's like, the guy with the truck. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go ask. I just need the brains, but I'll go do it. That's me. <laughs> yeah, you about to get this tire back. Yeah, I'm about to get this tire back. Oh, maybe I should sit out the car. It's all bullshit. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. Your money. <laughs> yeah, we really out here stranded. We found somebody random though. They about to get us right. Cause mm -mm. it's hot. Am I fucking leaves with the back? Bitch. Talia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> go to <laughs> the go to <laughs> all right guys so i just got home from the club it's like 11 o'clock right now i'm surprised i'm surprisingly not sleepy but honestly i slept on my way there on my way back i slept there too like <laughs> you already know what's going on when you see this body because baby when you see this body that means it's time to go to sleep <laughs> okay i'm gonna show y'all what i made tonight this is what I made tonight. Tonight was not a bad night. There was money in there. It's always money in that club. Um, it was not a bad night. It was actually a, a, actually a pretty okay night. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, So we made in total one, two, three, four, five, six, six sixty. Um, I actually made more than that. I actually made seven. I had to tip out, you know, the DJs, the DJ, the host, and the sweepers and stuff like that. So yeah, but you know, I'm grateful for what I did make. You know what I'm saying? This is better than nothing. Yeah, sometimes is it just me? Like, this is a question for all the dancers. Like, the girls that's already dancers already. Like, please comment below in the comment section and please let me know if y'all feel the same way. Um, as far as tipping goes, like, I feel like that's cool or whatever. But I feel like, I mean, I don't think it's a, a problem. Wrong. I don't think it's a problem tipping, you know, the DJ and the sleepers and stuff like that. I don't think it's a problem. But I feel like it becomes a problem when there's too many. You know what I'm saying? When there's too many sweepers, there's too many DJs, there's too many everybody. It's like somebody's always gonna be left out. Like, but y'all have to, it's like, but y'all have to understand, like, we still have to leave with something too. And I feel like that's what they don't really be understanding. They don't be understanding that we still have to leave with something too. Like everybody have to hand out, like from the jump, like from when we first walked through the door, it's everybody wants something. And, 
when we leave. And don't get me wrong, like, I get it, I understand, like, tip the DJ, tip, 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 I understand. But then it's like, like I said, it's not no problem tipping y'all, but the problem becomes a problem when it's too many of y'all. That's that's the problem, because someone always going to get left out. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, like, if I'm the only one that feel like that, so be it. But if I'm not, like, comment in the comment section below and let me know if y'all understand where I'm coming from, because that right there really be stressing me out Loki. it don't stress me out but it really be bothering me sometimes because like it's always a hand somebody always wants something like somebody always got their hand out but ain't nobody giving me nothing you feel what i'm saying because that shit's insane to me like real talk but anyways y'all i had to get that off my chest y'all know I, i'm quick to vent like quick to say this is what's wrong and i don't like that and i don't like this because i don't know i just be feeling like sometimes they be trying to get over like and i don't really like that because y'all don't got to be greedy you know what I mean? but i'll see y'all when i wake up <laughs> all right y'all so i'm back from the club so i'm gonna do a little money count with y'all right fast don't mind my hair i took my wig off because it was just time i had the wig on since monday yeah, and the wig literally was ready to come off. Like, it was sliding back, and I kept on trying to keep it down. It started sliding back, honestly, Friday. <laughs> and I was trying to keep it on. I really, really was. I'm like, just make it till Sunday. Just make it till Sunday. But um, sis is tired, okay? Sis did her job Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sis was tired, okay? And I don't blame her because I be tired, too. All that flipping around, I be doing. So, yeah, um... The hair is out. I gotta wash my hair, y'all. It's so dirty. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's so, it's so dirty. It grew a lot, though. Like, my hair is, like, right here now. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna do a little money count with y'all to show y'all what I made tonight. One. Two. That's $100. $100. $20. $40. $50. $60. $70. $80. $90. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100
320, 40, 60, 80. So I made $380. But yeah, y'all, so that concludes this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and share on this video. Y'all, let's get to 500 subscribers, okay? We, I'm not gonna say we almost there, but we not far from it. Let's get to 500 subscribers. So, if you are new to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like and comment on this video because it helps me out a lot. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm I'm talking it with my eyes closed. Like that's how tired I am. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment on this video, and I'll see y'all next time.